You are now politicking with Poe on PoePolitikin.com. I don't know how y'all see it, but when it comes to the children, Wu-Tang is for the children. We teach the children. You know what I mean? Welcome back to PoePolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, we're on Google Play, Apple Music, type in PoePolitikin. Go listen to some of our interviews for the past 10 years. One, two, one, two, one, place to be with MT. Matasha, that's right. Yep. All right. How you doing today? I'm good. How you doing today? I'm great. So let us know where your, uh, your background from. Where you from? I'm from the east side of Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan? Mm-hmm. Is it still like uh, cold in the D, like they be saying? Ain't that a song? It's so cold in the D. Cold in the D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually cold right now. <laughs> so how long cold you, right now. How long, how long you been rapping? Um, I've been rapping for almost two years now. So what made you want to do it? Well, honestly, like, just being around, like, a lot of artists, traveling, meeting artists, um, just stuff like that, basically, like, and then I just started getting an ear for it, like, being around and being in the studio, vibing in sessions with other artists, and they coming up with topics and just asking everybody input, and then I just, like, fuck it, I'm just, Right. But actually, it's crazy because at first it was really an April Fool's joke, like my first song. <laughs> but I did, I had remixed the uh, band about designer, and it had went like viral. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm just, I'm just going well with this shit. Do you remember the first like album you bought? The first album I ever bought? Yeah. I really don't remember. So who were some of your influences, though? Like the artists you liked growing up? Um, well, like, this might sound kind of weird, like, I always, like, listen to music, but I never was, like, really, like, that deep into, like, music to where I was, like, oh, I'm about to go buy this for CD or, you know, mixtape or anything. So, um, I don't really say, like, kind of like when Nicki Minaj, like, started popping, like, crazy, that's when I really started, like, paying, like, attention. I'm like, oh, like, she good, and other artists, like... Um, Meek Mill, like, those type of artists, like, gained my attention and, like, made me be more in tune with music. And then, like, our local artists here in Detroit. So, I would really, I would, that's what it really, what I would say. And what did you say, how you say your style is as an artist? Like, how you sound? My style is different. Like, I'm a, I'm the type of artist, like, I'm willing to try, like, different sounds. So, right now, I don't really, I can't really answer that question. Like, I don't really have a style yet. I'm like versus style. Like, I'm just, yeah, versus style. Yeah, and I see you just came out with a song. I was just checking it out. Let me see what the name of it was. You just Friday. Came... You like it? Yeah, I like it. I like that. I was just listening to it. Let me see what name of it is. Oh, let me go look at it. Because I was listening to that. Oh, yeah, here you go, right here. The uh, Yeah, Friday. You got that album cover with the Friday only two? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so when you when you gonna try, come out with like a mixtape or something? Cause I see you got those two songs. It was just like, no, they actually had another album on there. I saw on Spotify. You had an album, Bag Secured. Yep, Bag Secured. That was actually my first album I dropped. So what do you say your goals? Like, what are you trying to do with your career? I you say say it, say it one more time. I say what do you say your goals for your career? What are you trying to do? I'm just trying to just touch bases, like. For different people, like over a million people. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you got like. You're supposed to hear me and my story. Yeah, I see. I saw you got like a big Instagram following right now too. You got like what two hundred thousand followers. Yep. So you're almost there. Yeah. <laughs> how's that? Awesome. Uh, how was that having so many followers on Instagram? Well, I used to model. I mean, I still do some modeling, but I also bartend. So you know today's world social media bartenders is like <laughs> a real popping thing <laughs> so in my music it plays it plays a little bit with it but more so just me like instagram modeling and bartending and hosting parties and stuff like that yeah so what are some of your other interests outside of music um i have my own clothing store mm. i have my own store it's called ibody so i deal with that and um, I travel and stuff like that. 
What kind of clothes you sell in? I sell like women's basics, like two pieces, one two, um, dresses, women's stuff like that. Just cute, comfortable, quick stuff females can just throw on. Mm -hmm. And the way you see your career five years from now. You said where I see my career in five years? Yep. Traveling, on tours, linking up with different artists, and doing all great things. Big shit popping. <laughs> and what advice would you give to new artists? What advice? Yep. Be themselves. Don't let nobody tell them they can't do it. And to do it, don't doubt they feel. For real. What would you like to say to your fans? I want to tell my fans that, well, I don't really call my fans fans. I call them supporters. I just want to tell them thank you so much for supporting me, believing in me, and being patient. Why you say being patient? Why is that important? Because, like, being an artist, like, it's not easy. It's not what everybody thinks. It's not just getting up, going to the studio, recording a song. Like, it's a lot. And it's not easy and sometimes people don't understand that like I see like them harassing Rihanna all the time like when are you dropping something new when are you coming out with something new like it's not that easy so just the fact that they being patient and just understanding that just means a lot yeah I would say when I was listening to your music too I was you was kind of reminding me of like uh City Girls Meg Thee Stallion Trina is that kind of like your lane or are you trying to do something different yeah, kind of like a mixture of all, because I like all of them. All right. Well, I want to say thanks for coming to Politica with me. I can't hear you. Say that again? Uh, I said thanks for coming through Politica with me. Oh, no problem. And thank you for having me. I appreciate you so much. Yeah, no doubt. You want to tell me your social media, how to hit you up? My social media, my Instagram is Natasha, M-A-T-A-S-H-I-A. And that's all I have. <laughs> Yo, what up though? It's your girl Natasha and we right here live on Paul Politic and you know what the fuck it is. Let's get it straight. We don't love these hoes. No money having ass nigga. I had enough of those. Need some bread from that nigga, period. Like I'm coming on. His money featuring on my knees like it's on a song. Hey, say you wanna see me, let me check the schedule. Then that bag finally came better late than never. I'm getting money with my bitches, we gon' split the bread up. If he ain't looking on that click, I generally lift his head up. Had to put MT on the chain, bitch, you know it's mine. Real talk, it cost to be a boss, but I don't owe a dime. Can't stand a begging ass nigga. Here, hold a sign. If you ain't trying to go hard, nigga, the nigga go inside. Nigga, don't tell me you got money cause I'll help you spend it Don't tell me you ain't like these niggas, I can't tell a difference These hoes low-key love me, they just go to mission I know they can't keep up, so they just go to distance I caught a tan in Miami, now I'm two-tone When he throw buffs on, he can't do wrong If you can't touch a bag, I'm not the one to touch on Thought he was gonna get his fuck on, nigga, get the fuck on Before he ever get a chance to put his dick inside I ride a nigga face like it's whip for a ride I be at his mama crib, got him to pay for him inside Grab him by his dick, lick him dead in his eye like MT, bitch Big MT, sis, working like it's Timmy, bitch Young Eastside chick, hell yeah, I had to ice off the chain It's the price of the fame Hell yeah, I keep my nigga low-key like he don't like to be named Tuh, you know that pussy hit different, we ain't gon' tell us, bitch You know that dick sound better if it's gon' pay the rent How you ain't taking his money, but you gon' take some dick You fucking for the free, boy, make it make some sense He gon' hit my line, I'ma hit his pockets I'ma hit him where it hurt like I'm tryna get it poppin' Got tired of looking at that shit, shit, I'm finna cop it Said he's spendin' what on the last bitch like I ain't finna top it when he say get what I want, I ain't get decisive Knowing down on what I want, I get to fit in sizes Everything I do is big, I can't minimize it Free my babies in them jokes, who gotta sit inside it I caught a 10 in Miami, now I'm two-tone When he throw buffs on, he can't do wrong If you can't touch a bag, I'm not the one to touch on Thought he was gonna get his fuck on, nigga, get the fuck on I won, nigga, ice me out, but you can ice me down I won, nigga, flew me in, but you can fly me out Talking about no cap, you the cap captain When I count my money again, I call that pack checking, bitch
The Poe Politicking Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.